Hey guys, Adam here with uh, the Pike Spear and Chronicles uh, here on a bitter cold 66 degree February day. That's right, I said 66 degree February day here in Michigan. As I think everybody knows, it's been an absolutely horrid uh, ice season. Uh, we're only out, able to make it out spearing five times this year. Um, pretty disappointing without question. But uh, nevertheless, uh, as a result of that, there are some pretty good deals going on out there. Um, so as a result, uh, I did pick up this new shack. I've been wanting a smaller shanty um, for when I go on my solo trips. Um, I love my Eskimo 949i. The thing is an absolute beast though. If you're setting up by yourself, if you got a big wind, you know, you gotta anchor that thing down set it up and then you gotta take that anchor out and kind of center it back over your spear hole and hope it doesn't fly away like a kite along the way so i grabbed this uh otter vortex pro cabin and you can see it's got the walk through door i thought that might be kind of a neat feature you know on those big wind days 20 30 mile an hour you can get this thing anchored um you know that i could cut in right inside the shack and actually just drag the block right out of there so I thought that would be kind of a, a cool thing to try. Um, in the store, all the windows closed, everything. The shanty is extremely dark. Um, but I will say I, I am slightly concerned. We'll see how it goes with the gray interior, if I'll get silhouetted or not, because you know, you're gonna get light coming back up through the ice. So we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, maybe it's not a great shame for spearing. We'll find out. Time will tell probably next year. Um, some other uh, things we added for next season. Um, I just picked up this Jet Boil Mini Mo um, and this little frying pan that sits on there. It's made to set on the pot support. It's got little grooves in the bottom of the pan that kind of marry up to the pot support, so it should be pretty stable. Um, thinking about doing a little more cooking, you know, nothing wrong with some creature comforts when you're out there. Uh, makes the experience even better. Um, so, be more to come on the jet boil stuff. I uh, added another camera, I grabbed another Hero 12. Also picked up the media mod for it, hopefully a little better video quality. Um, another angle, I'm hoping to get uh, shots down the hole as well as action shots uh, from inside the shack. So more to come on that as this evolves. And of course, you know, picked up some more decoys. You know, I got these eh, maybe about a week and a half ago they arrived. I just haven't got a chance to show them to you guys. I uh, got these wobblers from uh, Keith Schirmers. You can look him up on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, the, probably the biggest pike I seen this season came into one of Keith's uh, wobblers. Unfortunately, somebody come walking by and scared it off, so I didn't get a shot at that one. Uh, legitimate high teens, maybe low twenties fish. It was a, a great pike. Um, and of course, as you know, I love the Wallace decoys, so uh, I kind of crunched uh, one of my other perch uh, from Eric. So I bought another one and see if he can't work his magic to fix my other one this summer but if not we got a replacement and then uh, part of his new spawn paint jobs uh, on some of his decoys uh, came out with this new pumpkin seed so uh, amazing paint on all of these great decoys uh, love the action on the wobblers uh, Eric Wallace's decoys they swim as well as anyone's uh, a lot of great additions um, for next season. We're excited about those. Uh, hopefully we can actually have a normal winter next year. The last two have been pretty dang rough. Uh, it would be nice to get all this stuff out there and really put it to use. So, uh, Outside of that, we've been doing some uh, jigging on the Saginaw River for walleyes. Um, a lot of small fish out there, but we've been getting enough for the frying pan yesterday I got a really nice lake trout uh, 16 pounds 35 and 5 8 inches great fish um, pretty excited about that so I'll put a couple still photos into that and maybe I'll get a little bit of video footage that I got while I was out on those trips so 
that's all for now. Uh, we'll see you next time.